You have trillions of cells in your body, from neurons, to muscle cells, to epithelial cells, to squamous cells, to keratinocytes, to astrocytes, lots and lots of cells. But you start off as just one fertilized cell. So how does this one cell become trillions of cells? Mitosis. I love mitosis. I love mitosis so much that on my 20th birthday, my friends actually baked me a mitosis cake. Because they're awesome. And so is mitosis. Mitosis is integral to cell division, and it's the process by which a cell separates its chromosomes into two identical sets in two separate nuclei. It's separated into four main steps. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. PMAT. We begin with a cell. The cell replicates its DNA so that it has two copies of everything, and then winds the DNA up into chromosomes. This way it is all nicely packaged and can be easily separated later. Thus begins prophase. The chromosomes, each composed of two identical sister chromatids, those copies of DNA that I talked about before, become distinct and visible within the cell. They are held together at their center by a centromere. Now humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, but for the purpose of demonstration, we're only gonna look at a few. Mitotic spindles also begin to form, and these fibers will be very important later on. Next up is the sort of in-between step known as pro-metaphase, because it is between prophase and metaphase, and because scientists are super creative namers. In pro-metaphase, the nucleus begins to break down so that the chromosomes are no longer contained, and the spindle fibers continue to grow. In metaphase, the chromosomes align down the middle of the cell. Now those spindle fibers attach to the chromosomes at those centromeres, one on each side, and they begin to play a tug of war with the chromosome. And this is what helps pull those chromosomes to the very middle of the cell. Next, in anaphase, the sister chromatids break apart. The spindle fibers pull them to opposite sides of the cell. This way, each side of the cell has one sister chromatid from each pair. Now finally, we have hit telophase and cytokinesis. The cell starts to pinch together in the middle, the nuclei begin to reform, and the chromosomes begin to unwind. After that, the two new daughter cells will completely break apart. In this way, we've gone from one cell to two cells. Do this enough times and you'll have all the cells in your body. Each new cell has an identical copy of the parent DNA and is ready to function on its own. And that's mitosis. Elegant, simple, and really, really cool. Go forth. Do science. So guys, that was a super fast review of mitosis just because it's a subject that I think is really cool. But I wanna know what you guys think is cool. So if you have a concept in biology that you wanna hear about, let me know. Leave it in a comment or send me a message and maybe it'll wind up as a future bite-sized video.